this is what you have to do when you're working on a very old control system for the building pumps and the towers. It's just old circuit boards and relays. There's no hand off auto switches anywhere. It just has the contactors, motor starters in here. Again, no auto off or hand. So it's always been a pain in the ass to run this system. It's where my jump box comes in handy. Now, the thing I don't like about this is that's 120 volts. But, you know, I got good wiring on here, so let's turn on that fan. Use my alligator clips across 120 hot and then to each relay's dry contact output. Flip my switch. Sends the 120 volts over to the motor starter. And then my tower start. I'll let it run a few minutes. Stop it. Check my belt tension. Not very big towers. But you gotta get panel off and down there on your hands and knees. Yeah. Yeah, it's always been a bummer. So this year when I come to do the annual, I kind of noted up here which set of contacts goes to what pump and what motor. And maybe someday <laughs> they don't ever upgrade the system like I kind of recommend before it fails. But one reason, you know, warn them about that says I have no way. You have no way to come out here and just turn on a pump and a tower and get your whole building back up. You know, somebody like me'd have to come here and figure it out, and start jumping stuff just to get temporary operation. But if we were to drill some holes and put some toggle switches right there, that would work at least for doing maintenance and for emergency but you know this old stuff man it, it's still running from the probably like 1980 or something like that so this, these still work that's the loop temperature 67 almost 60, 66 to 67 degrees outside air about 62 over 62 and that's pretty accurate Good quality gauges, evidently. One of those control board, it's got all of this wiring. I mean, eventually this stuff's gonna start falling apart, but it's built really well for what it is. Huge circuit boards for what that does. I mean, that could be, that all that could be condensed down in one little microcontroller board, but it's there's not even a microcontroller on this. I mean, that's all just uh, like comparator ICs. I expect, I'm uh, assuming. Stuff like that, potentiometers and resistors and voltage dividers and everything. <laughs> Setting the, the on and off points. Look at these old controls, man. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. I just see this cut kick in, which I believe is probably the heater. Yep, it's getting hot. I overcooled it a little bit. Must have been enough moisture left in the two bundles. It's kind of cool. Without having the spray pump on, the fans usually don't cool efficiently. Turn that back off. Well, actually, I want to even run a little and check that belt. So, anyway, just want to give you guys a little show and tell of that thing, how custom that thing is. <laughs>